guys, welcome to another one of these blogs. Have you ever heard a child say to you, I told you so, I told you so. Have you ever heard an adult say it in another way? I told you so, I told you so. Have you ever heard God say, I told you so, I told you so. Folks, the warnings, the signs, the times, the magnitudes, the the whatevers are all here today, are all here, killings and dyings and famines and pestilence and wars and rumors of wars and uh, many, many crazy death threatening, mind blowing things are happening today. The little girl said, the little boy said, I told you so. Many adults say, I tell you so. God says, I've warned you so. Are you ready? Are you one of the five virgins that are wise? Have you had the, uh, the seeds, the word of God planted in your life? Are you living 100% for Jesus Christ? Or are you playing games with God and your life? God really doesn't care if you play games too much with Him. He can handle that by joking around. But don't you dare play games with your life. Because if you do, God will take your life as a joke. And He will be laughing at you and sad about you. Because you've taken life too lightly, too jokefully and meaninglessly. So my, folks, in Jesus' name, let me tell you something. I've suffered enough to realize that this life, the things in this world at this time, and the places we go in as a world, as a nation, as Christians, and as non-Christians. It's all been set out, folks. The Bible has shown us clearly what will happen. Go and read Revelation. Read the book of Revelation. And go and do studies. So you know what is coming from God's perspective, from the devil's perspective, from life's perspective, from nations and everything else. The word of God gives us truth and clarity to all things and knowledge and understanding. So please let God, the Holy Spirit, come and teach you so you are ready for hell on earth. Folks, I am stilled, I am shocked to realize we are in very, 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 very serious times. And most people are concerned about what they can eat and drink and live and wear and drive and visit and all these things. And meanwhile, there is hell on earth. It's like it reminds me, there's a fire in the building, but people are just partying, enjoying it, doing their own thing, carrying on working, don't care. But sooner or later, that door just explodes open, the fire just bursts out and destroys them all. I'm telling you now, folks, many people are not ready for the hell that is coming on this earth. When I say hell, the death, destruction, the evil, Satan and his forces are going to unleash, unleash stuff that is beyond your maturation right now and what you know. And God is going to allow it because man's sins have come up as a stench in God's nostrils. The world and its behaviors and the leaders have really fornicated and adulterated with God in every way kings of the earth and God is saying to the people on the ground wake up get ready get your house in order get yourselves right with me make sure that you lead you guide and you help this world these people your fellow brothers and sisters in the Lord in Jesus name please I beg you all in Jesus name Amen